I'm finally doing it. <laughs> three months later, three for three. Three fragrances for three of my favorite notes. Right here, right now. What's up guys, this is on Absolute. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, please subscribe. If you're not, welcome back. As always guys, it's very nice to see you. I actually got ready for today's video. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, yeah, so Maria, it's MJ here on YouTube. This is a beautiful woman right here. One of my BFFs on YouTube tagged me in a three perfumes for three notes tag three friggin' months ago. And I never got to it. And I suck, but I love you. And here I am doing it right now. If you don't know about her, you would like her channel. She does give a lot of fragrance content as well. Her information will be linked down below. And Oli's mom, hilarious woman. She also tagged me in this video and I will link her down below as well. She does just fragrance. Guys, and she's freaking hilarious. She be cracking me the frick up. So... This is my video though, and uh, I'm going to share with you guys my, they're not my three favorite, but they're three I wanted to talk about, and I like them a lot. I, it's hard for me to choose favorites, very, 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 very hard. So, anyways, um, y'all, so, my three, oh, and sorry, um, Rose and Jones started this tag, so I want to give her credit as well. Um, Rose and Jones is bomb. I've been following her on Instagram for my personal account for, I think, a year now. Has it been a year or a little less than a year? I don't know. For a while. And she's awesome and she knows what she's talking about. She has a bomb collection. She has a sexy accent. So, guys, her information will also be linked down below. Check out her channel. She just comes with the fragrance content. And if you are a fragrance freak like me, you will like her channel. So guys, anyways, now we got we got all that stuff done and gone and over. Y'all are like three minutes, three minutes intro, Anna. What the hell? We don't want to wait three minutes. Well, chill, chill, y'all, chill. Okay, so the three notes I chose are almond, tiari flower, and pink pepper. I chose three interesting notes from each category that I really like. Um, almond from Gourmands, because I love Gourmands. Um, tiari flower from Florals, because I love Florals. And pink pepper, which is used in a lot of different fragrances, but I mostly find them in all my fresh fragrances. So, yeah, guys, here we go. Let's get into it. Let's start with A, <laughs> almond. Because A's are the best. <laughs> All kinds of A's. So, almonds is a bittersweet note. It's not as sweet as vanilla, but it is a little sweet. Very nutty. And kind of like marzipan, if you've ever had that delicacy. Yes, it's sweet. I love it. It makes fragrances to me creamy and nutty. And that turns me all the way on. <laughs> so, guys, the three I chose today. Or let's just go one by one. And we'll go fast with this one because I mentioned it a lot. This is Soleil by Lalique. Ugh. <sighs> The almond in here really just makes this a very like candy sweet. I talk about this a lot, guys. Orange juice on first blast, cardamom and pear make an entrance quickly after. On the dry down, it's like a pear orange candy. I love it. Next. I also talk about this one a lot, so I will go fast with it. And this is Armani Code Cashmere. And the almond in here is bitter and sweet. And oh, makes this super sexy. Mm. Oh, and edible. 
but still badass because of that leather note. Yeah. Guys, this is one of my favorites. I talk about this a lot. So if you're new to my channel, go look at those videos. I describe them this much better in those. Okay. And so for the last almond perfume, this one is actually the strongest almond perfume that I have. And you can definitely, if you wanted to find out what almond smells like, smell this and you will know. It's Lacum by Keiko Mascheri. Lacum is a dessert. I don't know what kind of dessert it is. I'll try to put a picture on the screen for you, but it's a dessert. And guys, this is a sweet powdery almond gourmand fragrance that lasts days. And I'm telling you freaking days. Forgot to mention that that sweetness is from honey super duper good this is bomb and uh, it has a little rose in it i can't smell the rose this is like comforting sweet and powdery almost almost baby johnson's powder almost but not i just get a lot of people saying that when they first spray it but once it melts on your skin mm, it is so gorgeous and beautiful <sighs> yes, I love this one. And I've had a decant of it for a while and finally bought it. And I don't know why, because it's hot as shite and I can't wear it. But the other day I was crying and feeling sad and I sprayed it and I was like, okay, I'm happy. It's making me happy. It's super duper comforting, guys. Super duper comforting. I love it. The almond note in here is strong. Mmm. It's good. Okay, next, Tiari Flower. Guys, Tongan women, all Polynesian women, wear these flowers in their ears and look beautiful. I've had a lot of like fake ones they make. I wish I could have worn it, but I don't know where they all went. So Tiari Flower, AKA the Tahitian Gardenia, AKA Manoy. Guys, this flower is what makes your fragrances smell like body oil. It's creamy, it's rich, but it's floral and balm. Not as heady as like jasmine and gardenia, but very rich. Okay, so <laughs> I love my lineup for this one. These are like some of my faves. First, everyone knows I'm gonna say this is Dolce Garden by Dolce & Gabbana. Guys, this is sexy. This is coconut milk. This is almond milk. And this is frangipani. But guys, I realized what I'm really smelling, that creaminess underneath is actually tiari flower. Mm, guys, this one's so freaking good. If you haven't tried it, go out there and get this, guys. Um, projection is moderate. I don't, it doesn't, it's not very loud, but, um, longevity is pretty good. About eight hours max on me anyways. And mm, just sweet and sexy and tropical. I love this one. Oh yeah. And that's another thing about frangipani and tiari flower. We're talking about tiari flower here, but they're tropical flowers. I love tropical flowers because I'm a tropical woman. Anyways, guys, and... You guys know I have mentioned this one before in my channel, my most prized possession as of yet. This is Fragrance de Bois, Oud Haun Intense, Oud Jaun Intense. I don't know, I'm not sure, but we gonna roll with it. Guys, this is freaking good. <laughs> Hold up. Mm, can the world open up so I can wear you and stunt? Ooh, anyway, guys, this is Tiari Flower. This has um, oud, very light oud, tons of white flowers, inclu including Tiari Flower. A little bit of vanilla in the base, too. Oh, it's 
It's sexy and it's like a come hither kind of fragrance. Mm. Very rich, very expensivo. Guys, Heavenly Scents, I'm gonna link his channel down below too. He mentioned a fragrance that smells exactly like this, except with the oud. So I think I might have to try that. It's way cheaper. All, he also like suggested just um, having an oud oil underneath and spraying that fragrance that he's talking about. So I'm gonna link that video where he talked about this down below. So y'all check him out. I need to check out that fragrance he was talking about, but mm. beautiful. Okay, I probably looked ridiculous right there. Okay, next guys, this one is a new one to my collection. And if you missed my live video, you'll, you've missed me rave and go on and on about this. And that is Korloff Gold. <sighs> Guys, this is supposed to be very similar, if actually a dupe for Terracotta by Guerlain which we all know is discontinued. So, and this is only 30 bucks. So please go out and get this. Guys, this is Tiari Flower. Goodness. <laughs> mm, it just smells like a rich body oil, a, lux a luxurious, like tropical body oil or some fine Polynesian nudes with big muscles and who am I thinking about? Jason Momoa was to rub you with some oil on your body on the beach. Your body was drenched in this. That's what it smells like. Coconutty, oh, tropical. You know what? She... <sighs> oh guys, it's good. It's good, it's good, it's good. Okay, anyways, next. Okay, so that was it for Tiari Flower. Next, we're going to go into Pink Pepper. Guys, Pink Pepper is bright. It's fresh, sweet, but dry. That's how I can explain it to you in words, in adjectives, really. That's how I can explain it to you. But the fragrances that I have in my collection that like scream pink pepper, the first one, this is the one that mostly screams pink pepper, is Fantasia by Anna Sui. Guys, literally this is a pink pepper bomb and the pink pepper lasts throughout the entire life of the fragrance. If you smell it, it's dry, it's sweet, a little spicy, but bright, very bright. It's, if you spray this, Right when you smell it, that's what the pink, that's what pink pepper is. It's very, mm. guys, this is like a, look, look at the horse. It's a magical effing fragrance, guys. It's bright. It's happy. It's my personality on a good day. Yeah, it's just easy and gorgeous, guys. I love this one. Next. This one is very heavy on, not heavy, I shouldn't say that. This, the pink pepper in this Aqua di Gioa by Giorgio Armani is, a, or the pink pepper in this one, Aqua di Gioa by Giorgio Armani, comes out to play on the dry down, and it is pretty noticeable on the dry down. Mm, guys, it adds that spicy dry dryness to this fragrance that really helps make it oh i can't spray myself I already sprayed myself with something and it's almost bedtime so i'm not trying to be all different fragrances <laughs> guys this is like up uh, so other than the parts of this that smell like a mojito it's pink pepper <laughs> and i think that really adds to the sweetness of this fragrance Guys, this is one of my favorites for summer. This is my new bottle, my backup bottle. I have my old bottle. 
you know, in the background. This one's cuter, so I'm gonna show you guys it. Anyway, it is a literal beachy mojito, and you can really smell that pink pepper on the dry down. And I love pink pepper, so that's why it's on this list. I have the pink pepper, and this one is not very noticeable to me, but it's a fragrance that I love, and it is in the notes, so we're gonna bring it up. That is Chanel Chance Eau Fraiche. Mmm, goodness. Fresh, woody, bright goodness. Mmm. Pink pepper is in here and it does its thing. Whatever the hell it does in this fragrance, I don't smell it like out, out the bat, but it does its thing. Guys, this is zesty. This is a little woody and bright. Uh, that's why I love this one. Guys, that was my three for three. Hope it wasn't too long. Guys, since you guys made it here, I promised I would announce the winners. So the winners are... Yeah, we're just gonna let the little video play of who the winners are. Thank you guys who entered my giveaway. Please email me, look in my description box. The, my email will be there. Email me um, your Cash App and or Venmo. I prefer Venmo guys, so. Try to do Venmo, but if you got Cash App, I'll do Cash App too. Okay guys. Um, I just wanted to put it out there or just say that um, any companies that haven't made a statement in support of the black community in regards to police brutality, I will not be linking their perfumes down below for you to buy. If you wanna buy them, go ahead. I honestly don't even wanna mention them as much in my videos because I really, I really think we need to put pressure on these companies to make a statement if we want to see any change happening. People with pa people with money, that's where the real power lies. Even more than white privilege, guys, money is power. So, these big brands making all these making all these hard-earned dollars off of us, they can make they can make a big change and if we we just got to push them. We're, we're putting them in these positions of power by supporting their businesses. So guys, um, I encourage you to reach out to these brands. I have been via DM, via via just comments, trying to get people to just see what they say. See if they really support your values, whatever your values are. Right now, the um, spotlight is on the black community and police brutality. And I think we should really just keep this going and keep this momentum if we want real change. Guys, I um, challenge you and encourage you to reach out to these brands, to check if they've made statements, put your money in the right pockets. Okay, guys, um, that's what that's the little change we can do. So I'm gonna stop linking them down below. I am gonna, I am gonna, I've decided for myself, I'm gonna stop buying from these brands um, indefinitely. Yes, it's like breaking up with someone with some good D, okay? You might go back a couple times. Just a couple. But <laughs> Whew. Yeah, it's, it's been it's been rough, but I just that's my little thing I can do for myself to make me feel like I am contributing. You know? So, that's what I'm going to do from now on, and I will try to mention them less, but they will be it will be noted in the descriptions. Guys, um, I appreciate you. I love you. Ah, blah, 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 blah. Mm, bye. And no matter what people tell us, we can do it right. We're educated, we're united, we can do this the right way. Because we're black, we can do this the right way. We can speak up, we can have our voices heard, we can vote, we can rally, we can do what we can do and show them what we're capable of.